Hi and welcome to Cars and Coffee Stories. We are here with Gary and his Ford GT40. Um, let's see what Gary has to tell about this car. Hi. This is a replication of a 1965 GT40. It's the same uh, paint scheme of golf livery colors that sponsored the car in both 68 and 69. Actually, 68 and 69 was the same car, the only car that's ever won Le Mans two years in a row. It was number nine in 1968, driven by uh, Pedro Rodriguez. And in 69, they flipped the number around, it was number six. And uh, another uh, driver was lead driver on that, and I can't remember his name right now. But anyway, I built this car uh, about six and a half years ago. If I condensed all the time together, it took about uh, 185 hours, wow. or eight, I'm sorry, 850 hours and about two years. It's got 10,000 miles on it. I just put it up for sale. 60% uh, of the parts comes from a place called Race Car Replicas outside of Detroit, Michigan. Uh, and the rest of the parts I found, like your drivetrain, it's got the original transmission in it that the real one had in it. Same horsepower, so the drivetrain is virtually the same. The wheels come out of South Africa, they're real knockoff racing wheels, the same ones that were on it in 68 and 69. The body comes out of Canada and it is spec on. I've had this car sitting next to a real one and you cannot tell the difference. You can take a look at the dashboard and yeah. things. That, that was developed from pictures I've seen of the actual race car, that they had everything tagged so you know what it was, the toggle switches, uh, the seats are identical to the ones that were in it. Uh, this one, the chassis, the tub, is the same as a Lola. Uh, I think it was a something six Lola. That's where Henry Ford got the idea for the chassis. The chassis is identical to a Lola, and what Henry Ford did was take these dimensions built another frame out of steel and steel panels and built the GT40s. They were all built in London, England and then brought over here and then the drivetrain was put in. It's 345 horsepower, bundle of snakes exhaust system developed by Carroll Shelby. It's a crossover system. That's a ZF transmission five speed. Uh, same one that was in it, the only one uh, that the car uh, would do endurance racing with that wouldn't blow up a transmission. That's the one that would last. This one will take up to 600 horsepower. What's the asking price? 125,000. If you compare this with other cars out there, especially by Superformance, you'd have 165, 70 thousand dollars in it before you got it done. Sure. Ever been on a racetrack? Not in this. I did race back in the 80s for five years. I ran oh. a. Uh, Formula Ford uh, Crosley 35, and then I ran a uh, Lola 590T. But retired from racing, huh? Pretty much. Uh, this one hasn't been on a track. I've been, uh, I've been attempting to do that, but I'd have to put different tires on it. There's no way that these was these would hold it on a racetrack. These are street tires, so I'd have to get different yeah. wheels and tires. So, is there a favorite road you would take this car for a ride? Anywhere, anywhere is fun to drive it. I mean, it's set up pretty much. Even the I-5? Even the I-5, I mean, I've had the car up to about 150 miles an hour. It'll do about 185. Uh, it was at 150 at 5,000 RPM, and it redlines at about seven. So I figure 180, 185 probably max out. Uh, it just sucks itself into the ground. <laughs> do you have any other cars? Uh, I have a daily driver, a Cayman. Yes, a Porsche Cayman S. That's my daily driver, and this one gets out on the weekends, and that's that's about all anymore. And that's why it's up for sale. Okay, nice. Okay, thank you, Gary. Thank you so much.